It's time for what's trending with the chill in the air and the lights all aglow. It's the holiday season and nothing is more festive than a glass of wine shared with family and friends. Today we are joined by Vintner Chris Benziger. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you, Megan. So when it comes to choosing wine for the holidays, whether it's to serve or as a hostess gift, some people don't know where to start. So what are some of your tips to make it easy? First of all, you're never gonna go wrong with a bottle of wine. So picking a bottle of wine as a gift, you're on the right track. Now it could be uh, something inexpensive from the local grocery store, or maybe something that's a little vintage specifics or something is a little bit more wine savvy. The trick is to find that bottle of wine that's a real crowd pleaser. That's not gonna set you back too much. It's not gonna bust the piggy bank. That's what I love about the tribute wines is, I made these wines, the Cabernet in particular, it tastes like a $50 bottle of wine, but it's only gonna cost you 50 to 20 bucks tops. What are some of your tips for pairing food and wine for the holidays? All right, so it's not as hard as it seems. Again, first of all, do this. Drink what you wanna drink, okay? If you like sweeter wines, drink sweeter wines. If you like big, bold reds, do that. But I'm gonna go with the four basic varieties, like Sauvignon Blanc. I love Sauvignon Blanc because it's the easiest wine to pair with because it's got this beautiful acid backbone. So with your cheeses, your aperitifs, um, seafood, Asian cuisine, or just pound it on the old patio. It's a great one for that. Chardonnay is lovely because it goes, it's a little bit more creamier. It goes great with your, like your Alfredos or your chicken dishes. And then for reds, Pinot Noir, which is one of my personal favorite. It's got a lighter tannin structure. So that's great with pizza, awesome with pizza, with uh, your pork tenderloins or salmon. And then Cabernet is king. That's gonna go with most of your meats, your chops, your steaks. Well, that's fantastic. And what is the best wine to bring to holiday parties that will be a crowd pleaser? I like our Cabernet Sauvignon, right? Because uh, as it gets a little bit colder out, um, that wine will uh, kind of warm you up and it's a wonderful wine. It, it drinks, like I said, like a $50 bottle of wine, but it's a little less expensive. It's only 20 bucks. I gotta ask, red or white, what is best for serving or what is better for a gift? I say get a bottle of both because you're, they're gonna go, okay? People are always gonna drink the wine. And having a bottle of red and white, you, you, there's no more mystery, right? You got the white wines to go with uh, the aperitifs, early drinking, and then you have the Cabernet for the main meal and for afterwards, so. I kind of fall into that rut where I stay with the same wine. So what would you say to encourage people to try something new this holiday yeah. season? Yeah, you're, you're, you're so right. And that's the best thing about wine. There's literally thousands of different wine varieties out there. So if you're always drinking a Sauvignon Blanc, try an Abarino or uh, uh, a Pinot Grigio. If you love uh, Cabernets, try Zinfandels, try a Berbera, try a Malbec. There's so many different varieties that uh, are similar to what you do that are a little bit different. And you know what will help you? If you go to our website, tributewines.com, we have an app there that you can see what you're eating and it'll pair the perfect wine for what you are uh, going to eat or party-wise. That way it takes all the mystery out of it and you're gonna have the perfect combination. Perfect, well, thank you so much for showing us all these fabulous wines, Chris. Thank you. And make sure to come back to Hello ENC every week as we keep you in the loop with what's trending.